Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Sentiment Stitches. I am your yarn host Jennifer and behind me, well he laid down, <laughs> is Bentley. Sir Benjamin is uh, hiding because he got in trouble. Daddy is mad at him. <laughs> Daddy left a gas can in the backyard and Bentley chewed on it. What? All right, can you close the big door? No. No, he didn't. <laughs> uh. Today is Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. I mean, it's Sunday in my world. I decided to record another video after I recorded Monday's video. <clears throat> the reason I decided to record is because I realized that there's food in here in these packages, and I didn't want Billy to eat them. So we're going to hurry up and record this video so that I can put the food away. <laughs> <laughs> before we have any more issues so with that I got some happy mail I'm also editing Monday's video and saving it while we're doing this so we don't have a whole lot of room because my laptop is open in front of me but happy mail time and I know I sound terrible I sound terrible okay so usually I do happy mail on Tuesday tea which would have been yesterday but I already pre-recorded yesterday's video which I haven't uploaded or edited yet. And I already said in the video that it was going to be a Tuesday video because I didn't think I had any happy mail. But then I got an email and someone was like, hey, did you get a package that contained a t-shirt and et cetera, et cetera. And I was like, I thought about it. I was like, no. <laughs> and then I forgot to respond back to her. So I'm sorry. I'm rude. I I read emails sometimes and I don't remember if I, if I messaged back or not. I hadn't received it at that point. It was at my P.O. box, but I haven't been to the P.O. box because I have to rely on other people to drive me around because I can't drive with my foot the way it is. I don't think even now with the boot off I have the strength in my leg to properly control a car, so I have to wait on someone else. And with everything being so busy now, like, everybody's doing stuff. Like, and with... Like, I'm not putting any more pressure on nobody to drive me anywhere. So, that's that's what happened. So, now, we're on Wednesday, and we have Happy Mail. And I got some really cool stuff. I got some really cool stuff. I feel like Christmas is already arriving. I know there was a note in this. This was an Amazon package. And I know there was a note with this. I put it in the box. All right, so this is from, this is really cute. I really like this. Um, it says, enjoy your gift. I couldn't resist, ha ha. I know you'll find something to squirrel away in here from Diane. <laughs> oh, you know me so well, Diane. All right, this is a really, really cute Mickey Mouse lunch pail, okay? It's the old style lunch pails. I have one upstairs that I got from um, D23 because I'm a D23 member, which is like the Disney um, fan club, if you will. We get a free gift once a year. We get a magazine, I think, every other month. Which reminds me, I haven't gotten my latest, I haven't gotten my latest magazine. Anyway, one of the years... I got a lunch pail with Mickey Mouse on it. So now I have two Mickey Mouse lunch pails. And these are really good for keeping like sewing notions in or like any notions. Or like you put all kinds of stuff in here. But I'm probably just going to put this on display in my bedroom with my other one because it's super, super cute. <laughs> so thank you so much, Diane. Totally made me happy. And then I got a card from Debbie. Debbie sends me cards frequently and they're always loaded with stickers and cute stamps. <clears throat> the Chevy this and is filled with stickers and a note <laughs> she said she tried to get this to me um, in time for Halloween and she mailed it out on October 27th so it didn't get here I mean it might have gotten here by Halloween but I I got it after Halloween, but it doesn't matter because I didn't fill out my planner for Halloween until after Halloween. And these will absolutely go in there on the pages that look all kinds of half done. This is funny because I just got myself a Fall Out Boy shirt with aliens on it and it's their Halloween shirt. So I laughed at that. And then I absolutely love, love, love my bathtub and taking a bath. <laughs> so 
really like that. Thank you so much, Debbie. Debbie Debbie sends me mail all the time. She's been sending me mail for a long time. And she sends me at least a card a month. Sometimes I get a couple cards a month. But she's always sending me mail. Like always. Alright, and then... This package almost didn't make it to me because... It got soaking wet and like it's hard to read. I'm like, I'm shocked that package made it. I'm shocked. So this is from Robin in Hammond, Indiana. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> it's a barrette. It's so cinnamon stitches. <laughs> she sent me a card. This is a Renoir painting, which I recognize right off the bat. I studied art in high school. Growing up in a, uh, a high school that's in a poor neighborhood, they don't give you a lot of options. And Mr. Cinnamon claims that he was poor, and he was poor growing up, okay? But I always tease him because he says all this stuff that his school had, because he his school wasn't necessarily poor but he was okay so he talks about well my school had a tennis team and a golf team and a swim team and a this team and a that team and then he talks about some of the class options that they had they had like more than one language like french spanish etc and i'm like yeah our options for classes like that was spanish computers typing they had a shop class and art <laughs> we have a golf team the tennis team was ran by the math teacher, as was the math teacher. Well, actually, he was the coach first. So he was a coach of track and field and tennis, but then he became a math teacher later on. That's how I learned math. That's why I'm not real good at math. <laughs> <laughs> I got kicked out of his class so many times. He was such a jerk. Such a jerk. All right. A card from Robin. Um... <clears throat> This box made me so happy because, I mean, this is really cute. <laughs> it's really cute. But, <clears throat> I just placed an order with Scrap Ann Arbor. If you don't know Scrap Ann Arbor, the Scrap stores are creative reuse stores. They are across the country. There's one in Ann Arbor. There's one in Richmond, Virginia, which is where I live. Well, I don't live in Richmond, but I live in Virginia. There's one in, I think, Washington State. I think there's one in Texas. They're 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 a thrift store for craft supplies. Okay, Scrap and Arbor is the only one that I know of that has where they release stuff online once a week or maybe twice a week, and you could buy some of their stuff without having to go to their store. Cause Richmond is like an hour away, and we'll go back to the driving thing. Like I'm not driving right now, so I can't go. And I like shopping thrift craft supplies a lot and i ordered that really cool fabric from um scrap ann arbor and i made that really cool scrappy halloween bag you guys remember that it was like last week or the week before i wanted to make a christmas bag out of scrap so i went on scrap ann arbor and i was like hey what do they got so that order will be coming soon but it was a box the what i ordered from scrap ann arbor was yarn and fabric scraps and Ms. Robin sent me yarn and fabric scraps. So I'm a happy girl because this is like, I got two, you know, two of the boxes. I got, it's the same kind of thing. It's the same kind of thing. It has the same kind of feel. She said she hopes I like everything. And if I don't, if I can't use it, I can donate it. At least I remember that's what the card said. Because I didn't reread it right now, but I read it when I got it. So I'm keeping everything in this box because it made me super happy. And I really like everything in here. This is the Walmart yarn in the Valentine's color. I have a couple of skeins of this left over. I think it's up there. I really like the way this yarn pools the color. And it's like, it's a decent yarn. So, yeah, I really like this yarn. So, I will definitely use that. And then she sent me a whole heap of fabric. <clears throat> and... My idea is with some of these, because they're Christmas, is to mix them with the Christmas scraps that I ordered from Ann Arbor and make some more scrappy Christmas bags. All right, so there's this fabric. And there's this one, because Juju is a ladybug. Like that's She's a she's Juju B, but she's also a ladybug. I have a ladybug on my leg. I have a, I have a tattoo on my leg. 
that is a rose because it is her birth flower. And also, I really like the way the tattoo looked. My, my friend in Michigan did my tattoo for me. It has Juju's name, and it has a ladybug on it. <laughs> so, I like ladybugs because they're Juju. And then butterfly. This is sparkly butterfly. This is pretty. This is... This represents my mom. My mom's the butterfly. Because my mom had lupus, and butterfly is like a symbol for lupus. And so, ever since my mom died... Um, <clears throat> I have seen swallowtail butterflies everywhere, and they're big yellow butterflies. And when we were leaving Michigan and moving to Virginia, we were supposed to move before she died, and things happened, and we weren't able to. And she kept saying, you're going to regret if you move, and then I die. You're going to regret if you move, and then I die. And then she tells the story, like, they were supposed to move the year before her mom died to Texas. She never would have forgave herself if they moved, and then her mom died, and she wasn't there. And then my mom died the following year. So, <clears throat> when we moved, I kept seeing swallowtail butterflies cross our path on the road, driving. And it was a very hard drive. I had Juju was five years old and the cat and the cat carrier with me. Her name was Maggie. Day Day was in the car with me and that was our old pit bull. He was like the best dog that ever lived before Bentley came around. Like he was he was an amazing dog. And Mr. Cinnamon was driving the U-Haul in front of me and the U-Haul broke down when we got to Breezewood, Pennsylvania. The tires blew. I ate a sandwich from the gas station because, like, we needed to eat and we didn't have a whole lot of money. And <clears throat> it was a really hard trip. And we... My battery's dying. I'll, I'll finish in a second. Okay, so I ate a gas station um, sandwich. Got sick. We didn't arrive into the, to the hotel in Virginia until, like, 3 in the morning. It was a really hard trip. What should have been a nine hour drive <clears throat> was more like a 16 hour drive. And the cat was freaking out the whole time. Like she was meowing and trying to like reach through the cage. She was in a cat carrier and hold my hand while I'm driving. I have never been a driver. I don't drive freeways. I've never driven long distance up until that point. Uh, I was terrified and we were driving in the middle of the night and BFE and there were deer all along the side of the road that we couldn't see till we were on top of them and I was just terrified it was a very hard trip emotionally but <clears throat> that whole time we were driving during the daylight yellow butterflies kept passing in front of the truck and I just kept saying like that's my mom telling me it's gonna be okay and we ended up living in a hotel for a month because our house that we were trying to rent out here wasn't ready and finances were like really rocky at that time and we weren't sure if what we were doing was the right decision so like yellow butterflies are my mom <laughs> they're my mom i wasn't quite close to my dad at that point so like it was just like my mom was with us through that trip you know and then we got some snoopy patriotic fabric you guys know I love patriotic fabric. I love patriotic stuff. I love the colors red, white, blue. I love the aesthetic of it. <clears throat> and I really love Snoopy. And you guys just learned that about me recently. But this fabric is so stinking cute. <laughs> it's so cute. And then this is Christmas patriotic. Which you would think is a weird niche, right? I actually have patriotic Christmas fabric over there that is patriotic gingerbread men. So the fact that someone else had... <laughs> patriotic christmas fabric like it's so weird but like i am here for it so this is gonna go with the patriotic gingerbread men and make a patriotic a funky and his boxing glove or maybe those are mittens they look like boxing gloves i don't know it's such a weird fabric right but it will go with the patriotic gingerbread men <laughs> and it makes me happy and then we have holly berries of snow watermelon I love this fabric. This reminds me of like napkins from when I was a little kid. And then buffalo plaid, which Mr. Cinnamon really likes this one. Actually, I should have went and put this on my table. I just dug out some fabrics for my, um, I set up 
Mr. Cinnamon, when I first broke my leg, went to Costco and bought me the the Disney Christmas Village, which is like a hundred bucks. Um, but it's musical and it lights up and it has a timer on it. And I have the Halloween one. And so now I have the Christmas village and I set it up today and it's all I've done. I'm not decorating for Christmas, but I set up my village because I want to enjoy it because I only got the Halloween village for like three weeks because I broke my leg and like I couldn't get things up. And so I actually had to have Juju put the Halloween village up and I didn't even turn it on until Halloween night. Because I was afraid, like, I didn't know there was a timer on it. Because I didn't set the thing up. And, like, so the Christmas one, I'm like, um, I'm going to set the Christmas one up. And we're going to turn it on. <laughs> and that's what I did today. But I, I put fabric on the shelf that it's on. And I probably should have used the Buffalo Checks. Alright. we got two more boxes left. This one is from... <clears throat> This one is from Virginia. This is the one, this is the one where she emailed me. I'm just gonna pull everything out because I think there's a card in here. All right. This is pretty, back to the butterflies, guys. Bentley slid over. Marie, a cinnamon bun, Marie. She said if I if I don't show the shirt on Happy Mail, she understand. I'm showing the shirt. There ain't nothing wrong with the shirt. <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with the shirt. I'm gonna show the shirt. <coughs> so she sent me a shirt. It says, "I am a hooker. I play with balls. I carry a nine millimeter, and I love whips and chains." <laughs> Uh, so love it love it love it love it love it <laughs> I would put it on right now but like I don't want to get naked on camera that'd be weird and then she sent me some Mickey, Minnie Mouse hand towels just fantastic I have I, I realized the other day I have the ones that were sent to me from Hawaii back there so I have a whole set of hand towels I could put in the kitchen and then she sent me some stevia in the raw because a lot of you guys really have a hard time with me drinking anything with Splenda or aspartame in it. And so I have gotten monk fruit in the mail and I have gotten stevia in the mail. And it's just, it's a zero calorie. It's, it's a fake sweetener that doesn't affect my blood sugar. And so like, I appreciate it because I don't have a preference for sweeteners. Um, I don't like equal and I don't like, was it the pink one and the blue one? I don't like those. I don't remember what it's, the other one's called. Stevia is fine. Splenda is fine. The monk fruit is fine. Um, you know. You know. And then she sent me boxes of rooibos tea. Ooh, this is really thick plastic. And I opened this the other day and I got excited because I love rooibos. Rooibos is my favorite tea. Um, I'm not a big fan of black tea. Black tea, my heart don't like black tea. Like, I love a good sweet tea, but... I don't generally drink black tea because my heart does not like black tea. I can drink a uh, soda with caffeine in it, but I cannot drink black tea. Because my heart is like, nope. And if I drink too much soda, then my heart, it feels like it's going to explode. Um, but I saw this the other day and I got really excited because it's rooibos. And I was like, what flavors is it? Because I couldn't tell because they were all <laughs> smashed together. So this one is orange flavored with ginger pieces. Put a little lion on there. I've never heard of this this brand, Boss. Caffeine free. Rooibos is naturally rich in antioxidants, caffeine free, and an anti-inflammatory, which I need. Fantastic. And then this one is apple flavored with mint leaves. Ooh, this one is strawberry and vanilla flavored with real strawberries. Fantastic. That sounds so good. And then this one is chai flavored with chai spice blend. Very cool. And it says certified organic by Echo Cert SA. Um, Boss Brands is from Cape Town, South Africa. Fantastic. I can't wait to have some of that. Right, like I said, Roybus is my favorite. It takes on the herbal tea flavors like so good. 
Oh, one more box. One more box. I like all of these boxes were so I felt like it was Christmas and I'm like, dang, Christmas came early. All right. Now, I know this one had a card. I just gotta find it. All right, this one had two cards. It had a card on the front of the box and then it had a card on the inside and it says season greetings from Becky. Ooh, I'm not gonna say your last name. I almost said it. And then a Mickey Mouse card was inside the box. And she said she sent me these things. Um, there was a there was a gift in here for Lucas and Juju, and it was little tiny little um, round, uh, like the beanie boos, the beanie babies. They were so cute. And the one that was sent for in this box for little man, they have birthdays on them. It was Mr. Cinema's birthday, so they were all really excited about that. All right now. This tin is mine, but the stuff inside the tin, the dogs are barking because Mr. Cinnamon just got home from the store. There's cookies inside here, but I can't eat cookies because I'm allergic to gluten and because I don't eat sugar because I'm a diabetic. So the cookies inside here, Mr. Cinnamon cannot wait to dig into, but I think him and Juju, uh, not Juju, because she can't have it either. She's also allergic to gluten. Um, Little Man and Mr. Cinnamon are going to share the cookies inside here, but she sent me the tin because it's it's really cute. But I can't play that because I'll get copyrighted for the song, but it lights up and it sings, and there's cookies inside here for the boys. <laughs> it's got holiday sugar cookies. So I'm going to let them dig in, and I'm going to keep this container, and I'm going to put stuff in it. I was thinking about putting my wax melts in here because... Um, I have too many wax melts and I have nowhere to put them. So I was thinking about stacking those in here because I think they'll fit perfectly. So, and then because I, so I didn't feel bad because she sent sweets for the boys. She sent me <clears throat> some of my favorite, I might add, sugar-free chocolates. So the peanut butter cups are pretty good. They're not as good as the sugar-free Reese's peanut butter cups, but these are pretty good. And then caramel, which is my favorite. I love caramel. The only ones that I like better than this are the ones that are like fake Snickers. They have the peanuts in them. They're like peanuts and nougat. Those are really good. But yeah, you did really good. These are like some of my favorites. So I'm so excited because <laughs> I'm out of chocolate, okay? I have like one or two pieces of sugar-free chocolate at bedtime when I'm feeling snacky and I don't want to like screw up my entire day's diet, you know, um, because I do have to watch my sugar and I do have to watch when and what I eat. And so that's like if I'm feeling snacky at night because I get cravings for food at night really bad. And so if I just have like a piece of chocolate or two, it staves off the cravings and it helps me to not be miserably cranky with everybody. <laughs> and then she also sent me some cocoa fabric, which in case you don't know, the family from the movie Coco is the Riveras, the, the, the Riveras, the Riveras, which is my last name. <laughs> so these are Mi Familia. Well, not him. He's not Mi Familia. Miguel is my family. <laughs> and Mama Imelda and Mama, um, what's her name? Mama Coco, Mama Imelda. Um, oh my God. I can't think of his name. <laughs> I can hear his voice. Ham. I can't think of his name. I love this movie. Coco's one of my favorite movies. I actually have this fabric already and I've made a couple project bags out of it. So I'm happy to have more and that can go down there with the fabric. But thank you so much for sending me happy mail. You guys don't ever have to send me presents. Ever. I so appreciate it though. I have never felt more loved and appreciated and spoiled in my entire life as I have since you guys started sending me stuff. And I feel so undeserving sometimes, but like you, you make me so incredibly happy and joyous with all these really thoughtful things. And I think, yes, it means a lot to me that you're spending your money and buying me things and then spending your money to, to ship them to me. Like all of that is so appreciated, but I think more than anything, the fact that you guys are actually listening to what I'm saying. Sometimes I mention something in a video and I forget I talked about that. And then I'll get stuff in the mail that is like one of my favorite things because I mentioned in passing that caramel is my favorite of all things. Caramel. 
<laughs> I love caramel. And I'm a diabetic, so sugar-free caramel is the only caramel I can have. Or the fact that I love Roybus tea. I mean, I talk about that in Tuesday tea, but the Snoopy stuff that's coming, because I told the story about Juju in her room with Snoopy, and I love Snoopy, and I have good memories of Snoopy. Or, like, the fabric for the scrap. Like, it's all these little things. And it's like... You guys make me feel far more important than I do. <laughs> like, you make me feel like I'm somebody. And most of the time, I'm just, I'm Jen. I'm like mom. I'm like the wife. I'm the mom. I'm the, the housekeeper. I'm Bentley's trainer. Like, I'm just basic old person. And you guys make me feel like so much more than that. You make me feel like I'm somebody important and somebody special. And like, I matter. And in case you don't know this, like I have struggled my entire life with having self-worth. It's something I've really struggled with in my life because of my history and stuff. And the gifts are cool. They're fun. But the way you make me feel so important is like, I can't, there's not enough thank yous for that. So, and because I'm not feeling good, I'm feeling crybaby-ish. So before I start to cry, I'm going to <laughs> I'm gonna shut the video off. Thank you to everyone who has ever sent me anything or just watching these videos. Just thank you for being here and for making me feel like I'm somebody. I love you guys. Bye.